friends, and welcome to the channel. I'm Handington, and today we're going to be playing more of SpongeBob's Flash games. Yay! <laughs> it has been quite some time since I've gotten back to recording these, but I have a good chunk of time today, and I've decided since the spooky month is coming up, and uh, everybody is stuck inside, why not play a game based on everybody being stuck inside and things being scary? AKA, a game, and possibly two games, based off the episode Toy Store of Doom from Spongebob. Now, there's the one that I remember, Toy Barrel Peril. You're on, like, the skateboard, and you have Patrick with the light vision and everything. We'll get to that one soon. But the one that I don't remember is Toy Story Trial, which is a memory card game. And for whatever reason, they played this all the time. It just, they would just constantly play this episode. It's so like every time we'd be at like my grandma's house or one of the, one of my grandma's houses um, and turn on Spongebob, this one would end up playing at some point. This was the second episode. The first one was No Hat for Pat. Oh, this is... This is, um, this is an image right here. <laughs> well, oh my gosh, and here are more pictures in the gallery. Oh, that's Mr. Krabs' head full of veins. Oh, oh, and there he is. There's Patrick with a bloody nose. Mmm, delightful. A saggy bottom. Oh my gosh, there's the Spongebob doing the okay fingers. It's very small, I don't know if you can see it or if it shows up too well in the recording. There it is, that, that, got, that got snuck in there. And how can we forget the most Spongebob image of all time? Dragon. The, the flag of whales. The flag of whales. That's not a whale. That's a dragon. Uh, anyway, Orange Childfish, Unnamed Father, debut episode. <laughs> the names. Monroe, Timmy, Debbie, Rechide. Hold on. Incidental. What a, oh, that's her name. All of these, these other background fish that appear, Incidental 103. That's your name? You look like the, um... Uh, in Krabby Land, his name is Monroe, his name is Timmy, then Tommy, then Billy. Billy! Like Jacksepticeye. Okay, oh, this is the debut episode of Steve! Cameo on box by Seahorse. Oh, well, it's like, it looks like mystery. They're called the Incidentals? That sounds like a Netflix original show based off of, like, some superhero team. Green Fish Child, who does not have a page, but the green... New Kelpian. Oh, look at this little lad. Look at how happy he is. This episode, it just takes forever for them to miss Basil E. Frankenweiler it to use that book title as a verb, to stay in the store after dark so they can have fun playing with all of the toys, and then after dark, everything becomes terrifying. Um, which I feel like it could have been an even better episode with that amazing premise. Um, and it ends up just taking so long to do anything, but there were still a couple of moments in it that I enjoyed, so it's not like this is an episode that I really, like, dislike. We're going to find, wherever the game is, hopefully before, you know, for whatever reason Adobe wants to just wipe out Flash from the face of the Earth, so we're going to try out Flash Geary. I'm also doing this on a mode that I always forget we have, Protected Mode, or the, um, the Incognito Mode, so maybe it won't try and track my stuff as much. Oh... Free Flash games online. I've downloaded the Adobe, whatchamacallit thingy, um, the Adobe player, just in case, um, I needed, I need to download the files to play this. Oh, so many of them. So many of these are nostalgic, 
the jellyfish shuffleboard. This is a this is a real game. This I don't think is real. These are real pizza toss. Oh, pizza toss. Oh, I love that one when I was little. Dunces and Dragons. That one's real. SpongeBob brain surgery. This is not real. This is not real. This, we played the real SpongeBob surgery games by Nickelodeon. SpongeBob's brain surgery. Flash Geary game. All right, hold on. Okay. Well, I'm glad to test this out before everything goes bad. Adobe Flash, yes. Only let it go on sites I trust. I do not trust this site, but I will allow it to play. Oh, it's not responding. I may separate this into a separate episode. 4463.com Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, this is its own separate episode. Toy Story Trial. Uh, Toy Store Trial. You've got a trial in me. Oh. I don't know but about you, but, like, it's just kind of uncanny. Like, his tongue is like a tube worm, and that's, it's, it, it's too pristine and sticking out. It's like that viewer discretion is advised image that would always be very freaky. Uh-oh, what you're looking for isn't here anymore. Let's go somewhere else. Go to homepage. Nick.com AU. It's an alternate universe. Oh! This is just a direct link from one of the other Nickelodeon websites that's still around. Sort of like Nick India, but one that didn't close down for whatever reason. Why is the North American one dead, but others are okay? I don't understand. All right, well, this this game is dead, um, on that website, at least. Spieler24. Oh. I enjoy the hunt to try and find the games. Before you continue to Playo games... First off, Playo is actually a great, great name for a thing. It's Playo games. Click this button, you'll be redirected to the Firefox store and be given the option to browse safe, powered by Yahoo add-on. Though I skip... Your destination by clicking the close button. This is HTTPS browse safe. Click ID. Oh, it has, it has protected by reCAPTCHA. All right, I'll click the information. Why am I seeing this? One of the re one reason you're seeing this page is that browse safe wants to reach people who are interested in safe. I am interested in safe. There are many reasons why you're seeing this page, including that Browse Safe is advertising its products on a site you recently visited. I don't know if Browse Safe is safe, but I have the good antivirus going, so we're going to try anyway. Redirecting to destination. This feels so sketchy. Oh. It redirects me to... They bought a website that redirects to... A YouTube channel. No, thank you. Let's try that again. And now it's here. You saw that, right? You saw that, right? I clicked on the same link. And it sent me to two different pages. You know, the definition of insanity is doing the exact same thing over and over, expecting different results. This is, by literal definition, insane. Oh my. Pian, oh no, my thoughts exactly. SpongeBob Eat Cookies! All right, well, now we have to look at this. Click here to play SpongeBob Eat Cookies in a new window. JavaScript pop-up. Oh, oh. Hello. Okay. Will this work? I found two different games while searching here. This is... Piano, no, indeed. Oh, sorry. Uhotawa x dot XYZ could not be found. Okay. 
It's Wowsome Games. I believe we've seen this one before at one point. Oh, yep, I remember you. Hello, Wowsome Games. Toy Store Trial. Okay. Let's give it a shot. We are recording, yes? Okay. If something goes wrong, I want this on recording. Okay, we've got a lot of magical fairies all around the borders. All around the borders, we've got a border burger. Come on. This web connection is not secure. <laughs> Good. Good. Oh, it's Anna. Anna's boyfriend's spell factory. It's <laughs> Mermaid Coffee Shop, I Heart Coffee, Anna's Winter Games, Victoria's Room Story, Ellie Tattoo Procedure on her butt, of course it would be, the Purple Pink Burger, that is neither purple nor pink, and also it says Popo Burger Shop, Blonde Princess Cabin Crew Makeover. Because, of course, blonde princesses are the, also the people who would be a cabin crew. Elsa Ice Cream Workshop. Holiday Deco Handmade Shop. Description. In this puzzle game, the purpose is to flip over the cards and match pairs. Every card will have different pictures on it, so you will have to match them until the time runs out. Some of the pictures may be a bit different from the others, just to confuse you even more. But do not let that stop you from winning. Use the mouse to play. Beauty Guru makeup tips. Spring allergy, doctor. I need that for the spring. I hate my spring allergies. They're the worst. Nick SpongeBob Game Builder. All right, let's try this. Buster Sl Oh. Nick SpongeBob Game Builder. Works fine. I have used Nick SpongeBob Game Builder for years and I've been impressed with its features and versioning. Numerous upgrades to several editions exist. You don't need to always go with the latest edition only, such as with apps from the Microsoft. From the Microsoft. What's particularly great is the scalability. Nick's, Nick's SpongeBob Game Builder is great all rounder and finalizer tool, easy for beginners, highly recommend. Great for free, Nick SpongeBob Game Builder is close to being perfect, but the software is just so weird. The developer obviously spends a lot of time adding good features, but but the this is not intuitive at all. The majority of new users will have a hard time learning the basic features. Good design! Nick SpongeBob Game Builder is unbelievably good. Easy to use. Oh, this one says that it's easy to use. This one came a few days afterwards. This is the latest and well integrated with professional results. Ooh, the app's design is great, intuitive, and lets you unleash your true creativity without having to know some of the more arcane details of coding and such. Highly recommend Nick SpongeBob Game Builder. That is, I do prefer things that aren't, like you can piece together stuff like a puzzle instead of having to do the actual code. Uh, price free? I don't know. Why this is under that? It's from it's a Weebly website, Buster Topia or whatever. Uh, Buster's La Sopa, seven two seven. Coolest handmade SpongeBob costumes. This Toy Story trial, top e, top e gree. This website is in a language I don't understand. Oh. Oh, that's an eel. Oh, it's a scary eel. Why do they always have the scariest pictures on the side? That's not real. Oh, that's definitely not real. That's real. This, I think, is real. That's 100% real. Oh. Connecting to B static ack. Rugrats! The Wikipedia. The seventh result for SpongeBob Toy Story Trial is Rugrats. Until Spongebob after the episode of The Trial. Oh, okay, that's why it's there. What's so fascinating about weird children's show, TV shows? I don't know, but it's magical. Um, McDonald's Toys. 
the SRB game ratings. Man, I'm yawning a lot, and I don't know why. Hot Topic! Nick Mobile. Oh my gosh, is it working? Oh my gosh, we got it to work, and on an official Nick site. Nick Mobile. Holy smokes, I thought this episode was going to be a bust. Alright, we got it. <laughs> okay, this is an official Spongebob game. Let's go. Oh, we have music. We've got music. Oh my gosh, it's so nice to have sound instead of just the dark, scary, empty void. Even if it's just the most generic of basic of songs. This was the Action 52, so like, they made this game in a, under a week, which is good enough for a free Flash game. Alright, we can only miss up to five times. There's basic Spongebob art. You wouldn't think this is an official Spongebob game, but it is! But it is. Let's see, do they have something in... Oh, look at this nice little pause menu! Question mark, do they make up a little screen to let you know? Yes, they made a little screen. They made a little how to play. Reveal pairs of cards, match all the cards to win. Okay. Play, even though I'm already playing it, so I could leave. I could mute it if I wanted. But who would want to mute this beautiful score? And then there's getting back to playing the game. That uses the very basic, oh my gosh, that was lucky. I got a match on the first try, like Lego Batman first try except I actually got it on the first try all right we have Squidward and jellyfish okay we gotta miss there's Patrick and Mr. Krabs oh no we can only miss a little bit more jellyfish where was the jelly was the jellyfish here yes okay oh I forgot I had to remember where the other ones are okay 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 Squidward he was either here or here no oh, oh Mr. Krabs is there though and Squidward is here! Okay! We're doing alright! We can only miss two more times. Oh, we can only miss two more times. Excuse me, what? There's three jellyfish. So you could just match the jellyfish with another jellyfish. And another Mr. Krabs! Oh, there's a Krabby Patty. Oh, I got lucky! There's a Patrick and that- oh, okay, you lose. This has, like, nothing to do with the episode. On on the front, it looked like there were cards of things from the episode. This is just basic clip art. We have plankton, we have jellyfish. We have two jellyfish. We have two plankton, okay. We, uh, I, got, I keep getting jellyfish and plankton. Is that all there's gonna be in this? Plankton, nope, there's Patrick. Jellyfish, jellyfish, okay. Spongebob and Plankton. Plankton and Plankton. Mr. Krabs and... The, nope. There are so many Planktons and so many jellyfish. Why? Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. I mean, even with Spongebob brain surgery, there was an episode where Plankton went in Spongebob's brain. Th this is slightly more related to a Spongebob episode with the evil ghost multi-eyed creature knife and a robot is still somehow closer to an actual spongebob episode than the actual spongebob episode of the memory game this isn't even fun or relaxing because it's stressful you have to get lucky mr krabs krabby patty squidward sandy 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 mr krabs oh no wait mr krabs and patrick spongebob and mr krabs Mr. Krabs, Mr. Krabs. There seems to be a lot of them that are next to each other, so let me give that a try. Like, ones that are not too far away. Spongebob, Spongebob. Gary, Gary. And, uh, two Garys, and we're, we're lost! We have a slightly better chance of not death. Oh, okay. Two Mr. Krabs. Two Sandys. Plankton and Patrick. There's another Sandy. Where's the other Sandy? Oh, that's Squidward. Sandy Sandy, Patty Patty, Patrick Patrick, Plankton, what is Plankton here? Yes! It's a 50-50 chance, no. We almost got it. Come on. No, no. All of those were different. 
Gary, Gary, Patty, and another pet. Oh, I got lucky. Plankton didn't show up. But SpongeBob. Jellyfish, jellyfish. Hey, it's jellyfish. Were you Plankton? No, you were Squidward. I, wrong green one. All right, that one, that one was on me. That one was on me. I messed up that one. SpongeBob, Mr. Krabs. Mr. Krabs, Mr. Krabs. Plankton, Squidward. Patrick, SpongeBob. SpongeBob, SpongeBob. You and you. Oh, oh shoot. No. Patty, Patty. Crabs, Crabs. Another Crabs. Mr. Krabs and Patrick. Gary and Gary. Okay. Another Gary and another Gary. And another Gary. And you another Gary. This is Patrick, I think. Patty and Patrick and Patrick. That was like Mr. Krabs, right? Uh, another Gary and Patty. Wait, you were... Yes, okay. Gary. Were you Gary? Yes, you were Gary. Patty. Patty. Crabs. Crabs. Crabs and crabs. We won. And it still gives us the game over. The same screen as if you lose, you get if you win. I expect nothing, and I'm still let down. Cool. That was not worth it. It uses basic SpongeBob clip art. There's no animation of it flipping over. It uses the exact same win as the lose. They didn't make up a new loading screen for it. It... It functions? But that's all. I'm gonna, you know what, I'm gonna give it a zero. I'm not gonna be lenient. Controls? In terms of how you play the game, you have five guesses. You have to rely on so much luck because you can get any number of random things. And at the same time, the same cards can repeat so you can end up getting a ton of cards that are identical. Which can help to make the chances of you winning the game a little easier if you randomly guess and there happens to be, like, multiple Garys. Um, to which I'd say that kind of defeats part of the memory game if most of the cards are the same. And you, in order to win, most of the cards have to be the same. Or you have to get insanely lucky. So, it, for controls, it gets a zero. In terms of fun, you get, like, no reward. It might be exhilarating to try as a gamble, to be like, okay, maybe you'll get something. I would not want to come back to this game. I mean, granted, most other memory games, it's like, keep flipping until you get it, and there are no stakes. So this one having some sort of stakes where it's like, okay, well, I was kind of, I'm kind of getting into it where it's like, maybe, maybe I'll get it. Um, instead of just infinitely being able to flip, I do like the idea of having limited matches, but it's, it's too few matches for it to be a fair game. I will give it a one because there was, it slightly held my attention to try and want to get to the end. Overall, don't play this. Don't seek it out. It gets a zero from me. It's barely even a Spongebob game. There, It could be replaced with anything. It is almost worse than bootleg Spongebob games. And if you end up achieving that status, you get a zero, even in, in terms of Spongebob Action 52 games. Like, even, this is why Squidward's Sizzle and Scare was so nice, because of how many assets they drew up for that. Which, I'd like to imagine that they just rushed to make this, they just, they just did whatever, <laughs> and they, they focused on other games. There are games that, like, use non-Spongebob assets that are just such a weird trip that are fun. This was not a fun trip. It's not very good <laughs> for an official Nickelodeon game as well as just a game in general, I am done, and I don't think I would ever want to return to that. It's no Winter Runderland. There's a bit more control over it, and it's just, it's so much fun. That's a game I would want to go back to. Toy Story Trial 
Toy Story Trial, excuse me, is not one that I would want. In fact, no, it could be Toy Story Trial. You could just switch out the cards to be Toy Story characters, and it's exactly the same. SpongeBob, you know, there's like an underwear joke for like tidy whitey tumble um, over here. That is like more SpongeBobby than this. That was awful. Now I'm excited to play SpongeBob's brain surgery because it might be better. So, okay, we're gonna have to end the episode here. I hope you all enjoyed the next installment in the SpongeBob Flash Games series. I had fun searching for it, and I, ha I had fun doing this episode. So I believe it's that time again, friends. If you like what I do, don't be shy to give a thumbs up. Have a pleasant day, everyone, and this is Handington, signing off. Bye!